Okay, you're right. Welcome to your new unit on coordinate geometry. Now, coordinate geometry, what we are going to be looking at basically, guys, is these things called Cartesian planes. Now, you've probably seen something a little bit similar to this guy here before, but you probably wouldn't know what it was actually called. Now, it's actually called a Cartesian plane. Um, it has two axes. Okay, so it has an axis going across, an axis going across this way. Sorry, that's called the x-axis. That's our horizontal axis. It also has a vertical axis, this way here. Okay, and that's actually called the y-axis. Now, so you've got x and y. It's pretty straightforward. You've probably seen stuff really similar to this, guys, but you probably just haven't heard them being called x and y before. Even Mike is pretty impressed with that. So. What is a Cartesian plane and what does it actually mean? So, the center of the Cartesian plane, so this guy over here, right in the center there, that two cross, that point where it crosses into a T, it's called the origin. It's the origin point. It's the start of your Cartesian plane. It's your point of origin, the point where you start. Now, both axes have numbers along them. Okay. In, our, in that other example, we just had X and Y, but this one's actually labelled with numbers. This side, from the origin to the right, across the horizontal, is positive. Okay. Vertically, going up, the numbers are positive. Okay. From the origin, moving towards the left, the num numbers turn negative. And from the origin going down on the vertical axis, the numbers also turn negative. So, origin point, this point right here, guys, is zero, okay? It's one classy-looking Cartesian plane. Now, what you really need to understand, you've had a look at the Cartesian plane, you understand the point, there's an origin, it starts at zero there, it's the point where the two um, axes, axes cross over, so where the axes cross, that's your origin. Now you need to understand coordinates. So, to describe a position on this Cartesian plane. So to describe this position here, or this position here, or this position here, we use a coordinate. And a coordinate is made up of a set of brackets containing two numbers. For example, we consider the point 1, 2. The first number refers to the position on the x-axis, so our horizontal axis. The second number refers to the position on the vertical axis or the y-axis. A Cartesian coordinate is written as x, y. So like I said, the first number is x, the second number is y. To locate a point on the Cartesian plane, we go across to the x-axis first and then we go up or down to the y-axis to get the second number. So for example, on this plane here, we have coordinate 1, 2. So we go here to our x-axis, we go along 1, okay, and that's our x-axis, and the second number equals our y-axis, so we go up, positive 2, 1, 2, and voila, that's our coordinate. That's as simple as it is, guys. That's the first thing you need to do in order to understand coordinate geometry. What you need to be doing is you need to be writing all this down. So writing the words from the first slide, second slide, and this slide. I'd also like you to draw in the actual axes and these actual drawings, so this drawing here and the drawing from the last page. Um, if you'd be really comfortable, you can draw the drawing from the first page. You need a new heading in your book, Coordinate Geometry, and underneath it write the writing and also making sure you're putting these subheadings in for coordinates. You obviously don't have to put in my pictures, they're just there because I am hilarious. Okay. The only thing I forgot to mention, guys, is when you're having a look at these Cartesian planes, sorry, you'll notice at the end of each axis we have these arrows. We have this arrow here, 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 and here, and they were on our other diagrams as well. Now, arrows are placed on the end of each axis to show that they actually keep on going. So if we were to imagine this Cartesian plane larger, this would go from 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and it would keep on going to infinity, okay? Those arrows are there to show that the number plane does definitely continue on. We're just not drawing it that far. So when you're drawing a Cartesian plane, you do need to include these arrows to indicate that it does go on further. Thanks, guys.